Hey, 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 everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got your F5E gameplay. This is uh, currently battle rating 11.0, rank 7 American fighter that I personally love. And look at this awesome camo on the side of it. It is amazing, amazing, amazing. I personally love any time that you can put a tiger skin on the side of a plane. I think even my A7D, that's right, my A7D has that as well. So it's a really, really cool option. But going back to the plane, this plane is ultra nimble. It was released a few patches ago and is something that a lot of people loved when it first came out. And a lot of people were thinking that this was going to get annihilated by MiG-23s. Lo and behold, it did not and I personally find the F5E to be an amazing fighter on par with MiG-21s in my opinion so far as capabilities between uh, maneuverability and overall dogfighting and it's just a top-notch plane but I haven't played it in a few months so let's get into a few matches here and see if it's still at least in my book the top dog because there are many instances where I'd rather be using the F5E over the F14A so let's take this thing for a spin one of the biggest downsides to this plane, obviously, is the fact that it only has two missiles. Most planes at this BR have four or six, or some other amount. I mean, I guess the F-14 can have up to eight, depending on how you load it up, but this plane only has two, and it has 560 rounds, which is, again, less than the F-14. So it, a lot of people might consider this plane to be at a uh, very strong disadvantage. Kind of like, uh, I just put myself at a real disadvantage right there. I, th I bet you that F-4 is going in for a bomb kill. Hope so. Ooh, this F-14 is lining up for me. Uh, probably not the best idea, but AIM-9s tend to have a little bit better of a range than R-6s. Or R-60s, rather. And also, this one's tracking surprisingly well. Let's see what we could do. Come on, buddy! Ah! Come on, come on. Yes! And see, that's what I mean, though. Like, as much as I love the F5, its cannons can be a bit lackluster. Uh, can be quite a bit lackluster, as a matter of fact. So... You kind of run the risk of getting a lot of assist while in this plane. Plus, it pulls so hard that your plane, like, your pilot gets knocked out very easily. Okay, I'm going in for this F-14 with a gun kill. Hopefully. Fire, fire, fire. Okay. Yeah. MiG-21. If that MiG-21 was smart, he would have shot at me. I do not know what's going on here. Okay, I'm going to go in for a gun kill against this MiG-21. <clears throat> or, mm, maybe this uh, Sukhoi-7. Nope. You get too hopeful sometimes in this game. Then it has a funny way of just kind of spitting in your face. None of those hit! None of those hit! That is a surprise for me. Okay, this F-5 is now my new target. <clears throat> eh, man, no, 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 this F-14 is. Eh, though that F-5 would have been real juicy. Come on, turn in. Oh, yes, what are you doing? Come on, you know you want to. Just turn a little bit harder. Yes, yes. That's what I'm talking about. So I have half my rounds left. There we go. Set him on fire. Set him on fire twice. Ah, sweet. There we go. Not too bad, guys. One kill, one assist. First match. Don't get discouraged. There will be some better kills in the uh, in the upcoming match or two or three, depending on how long these matches go. But either way, let's get into the next match and have ourselves a good time. You know, I was looking at the various payloads for the F5B, and I was thinking to myself, what did I have a lot of fun with, and what might be able to kind of shore up some of the weaknesses on this plane? Some of the weaknesses. Of course, it will create other weaknesses, but 
Who knows? You know, I mean, I, I look at this more of an offensively lacking plane. It's got great defenses. It's got countermeasures. It's got great turning ability. It can really outmaneuver almost any other plane in the game. But what does it lack offensively? And that might be shored up with a Chungus Cannon. I attached a 30mm Chungus Cannon to the bottom of this bad boy. And even though I am even slower than an F5C, as you can see, at, well, the F5C just kind of passed me somewhere. I think he just kind of flew up about 5 kilometers, but either way. I decided the Chungus Cannon is going to help me out here. And honestly, I don't think it, it will all so much. But I'm going to try. And this might be my first kill with any luck. Come on. Nope. Nope. Ah! Teammates always have to ruin the fun by getting the kills themselves. What the heck? War Thunder, you, uh, Gaijin, you have to stop. Give me some content creator powers, man. Ah! This is like, give me, uh, put me in a match with uh, bots that have creative names so it looks like I'm actually in a real match with real people. That way I can reap all the benefits. Am I going to get this kill? Wow, that was easy. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I was really hoping... And this is where it really falls short. Because now I've got an F5C on my tail. Oh my god. Did you guys... Did you... <gasps> what? What in the heck, man? Okay, he doesn't know I've got the Chungus Cannon. Okay, I guess I don't know I've got the Chungus Cannon. Um, yeah, that F5 is burning. So I'm going for this F14 here. Did you guys see that missile go by me before? Oh, no, that F14's dead in the water. What is it with these enemy teams? They're doing nothing. I'm not even gonna go for them. See, like, I hate when people take my kills that are obviously already dead, but the person is just not jaying out. Why am I gonna do that to somebody? That's just not right. You know? It's just not right. I've done it once or twice in the past, probably uh, most of the time it's by mistake. You know, every now and again you get jaded and you're like, eh, whatever. But if I'm thinking right, I'm never gonna do that. It's just, eh, not my thing. Woo! Some might say that was a waste of ammunition, but guess what it did? Put me above this F8 U2. Ha ha ha! That's not a waste of ammunition. Oh, Chungus Cannon saves the day. Ho ho, buddy. Oh, yeah. Ooh, an F14. Oh, he's dead. You know, we should just call it like a code F14. I mean, those things are catching on fire more than a freaking Ford Pinto at a gas stop. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean, but I think Ford Pintos, they used to like just blow up spontaneously. Um, and it seems as though F14s are pretty much doing the same thing. Anyways, let's just boom shakalaka. Okay, not too bad. Got in first place. So that being said, one more match. I want to see how I'm doing with this. How do you guys like these short form uh, gameplays? I don't want to do like a 20 minute gameplay if I don't have to. But anyways, next match. So I was thinking to myself, you know, there's a 30 millimeter cannon on the bottom, right? Like this thing is just absolutely daggone nasty. It will just tear almost anything to shreds. And it's really meant for ground targets. But I was thinking to myself, you know what? Instead of a 30 millimeter, I'd be fine with a 9 millimeter. Just put like some sort of a Glock underneath with like a 200 round magazine, belt feed a Glock, and I'll be happy. You know, give me like an extra quarter kilogram of burst per ma uh, per per second, and I'm fine, man. <laughs> you know, like that's totally cool with me. And if it doesn't really impair my speed all too much, and and you know what, put some like hillbilly rounds in that thing, something like in the backwoods of Kentucky, where they are coming up with, like, incendiary 9mm shells in their backyards. Do it! You know, I would use that thing all day and night. <clears throat> but I don't think War Thunder is gutsy enough to make these necessary changes. Oh, jeez, I got a bunch, of, a bunch of Charlie Dingoes on me. They are coming in hot. 
Is this guy? Does he? Oh. He. Okay, it's an F5C. I actually might have a chance. One of the cool things about having this uh, Chungus Cannon, though, uh, because it has such. Oh, no! Come on. This sucks, man. Am I gonna. I'm making a tough one here. I think I'm gonna be able to get him. Oh, no, 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 no. And see, it's like freaking walking with, like, bricks in your pants, man. Like, you are not going to be able to move with this Chungus Cannon. Holy cow. Doesn't matter. Uh, got him. Got him, got him, got him. Nice. Okay, this F5... Might have just... Okay, he's dead. <laughs> oh, it's so tempting just to take the kill. He's right there. Right there. But I'm not. Not gonna do it. You know what I've noticed recently? I've got a lot of, like, two kill games. I consistently get... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice, nice. Not nice. Who does that guy think he is? Got him. I got him with the old trick. I don't know what that old trick is, but I got him with it. I've been getting a lot of two-kill games. Now, two-kill games are not bad. You know, if, if you're suffering with two-kill-itis, kind of like what I have. Ooh, am I going to get this? Got to wait, got to wait, got to wait. Don't want to scare him off here. Three-kill-itis. Woo! Ha-ha! <laughs> yes! There we go, guys. Broke out of my three, my two-kill slump. Wait, am I going to have enough ammo? Okay, I'm going to at least get an assist out of that. That was bad aiming on my part. Ugh. Wait, I'm one of only like a few people still alive? Oh, oh my god, I'm going to get the kill! Okay, I have to go back to base. If I can make it back to base, I mean, I might be able to, like, pepper this guy with six shells of my 30 millimeter and knock him out of the sky. It's possible. I've done something like that before. Um, until he makes a turn, a move on me, I'm not gonna... Okay, he's, he's making a move on me. Okay, we're doing this, F-14. You pick your fight, you're gonna die. Nah, he's not gonna die. I got him! I got him! Holy cow! I, it's, he's not being knocked out of the sky. But I got him! Holy cow! Anyways, if there's anywhere for me to end this gameplay, it is right there. Four kills, possibly five if he crashes. It, or an assist, again, if he gets knocked out of the sky by someone else. Hopefully. But either way, thank you so much for watching, everyone. And let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Like I was saying, have a great day, guys. Please subscribe if you like more content like this. Tell me what you guys like about my gameplay, what you dislike about it. But either way, thanks again. I'll see you all on the other side. This plane still rules.